Illinois has many haunted places, but one really interesting location with fascinating ghost stories is the cemetery at St. James Catholic Church in Lamont, Illinois. Consecrated in 1837, St. James at Sag Bridge on Archer Avenue is one of the oldest Catholic churches in northern Illinois. Situated high on a bluff, the site was originally used as a lookout point by Native Americans and French explorers long before the Catholic Church acquired the property. The church is often referred to as Monk's Castle due to bizarre sightings and ghost stories that began circulating in newspapers as early as 1897. In this video, I visit the historic St. James at Sag Bridge in Lamont, Illinois and share the ghost stories and legends that continue to attract curious visitors to the cemetery. I also share the unique history of the cemetery and surrounding area that could have a direct connection with the haunted legends that have been told for decades. The high bluff on which the church and cemetery sit is a historical site that was first inhabited by Native Americans who used the land as a lookout into the valley below. The natives also used the high bluffs along the valley as burial grounds, and it is often speculated that St. James Cemetery was originally a Native American village and a burial mound. Old newspaper articles document the discovery of countless skeletons during the excavation of the shipping canal and gravel pits near Sag Bridge in the cemetery. Some of the skeletons were reburied or sent to the museum for study, but many were destroyed and discarded like trash. In one article from 1897, a highway commissioner and gravel pit owner named John Rupert said his men found skeletons every few days, and he even shared a few sad and disturbing details about the discoveries. In the article, Rupert openly admits one of his workers found a skeleton while digging and smashed the skull into pieces with a pick. Another man used thigh bones to sharpen his knives, and another used the skull as a tobacco jar. It's also worth noting that the grounds of St. James Church was once the site of a French fort and a lookout point in the late 1600s. In 1673, Father Marquette, along with Louis Joliet, traveled down the Des Plaines River and visited the French fort that once stood on the grounds of St. James. Marquette and Joliet were said to have visited the fort at least three different times and even held the first Catholic Mass there. Before the property changed hands in the 1830s, it was originally owned by James Sullivan and John Murphy, two early settlers from Ireland who donated the land to the Catholic Church. In 1833, a log cabin was built along Archer Avenue, a former Indian trail, and was used as the church building until the new church at the top of the hill was finished in 1858. The historic church was built using limestone that was harvested from nearby rock quarries, and the construction took six years to complete. The historic cemetery at St. James Church has a few interesting ghost sightings and stories that date back many years. The first known ghost sighting was documented in 1897 in the Lamont Observer, when two musicians named William Looney and John Kelly spent the night in the old Sag Hall building near the cemetery's entrance. The two musicians had been performing at the church past midnight, and instead of making the trip home in the dark, they set up cots on the second floor of the dance hall and called it a night. Not long after lying down, Kelly had already fallen asleep, but Looney was wide awake in bed and began hearing what sounded like horses galloping on the gravel road outside the window. Looney jumped off the cot and peeked out the window to see who could possibly be outside the hall at such a late hour, but nobody was there. The sound of the galloping got louder and then slowly faded as it continued past the hall and through the entrance onto Archer Avenue. Looney woke up Kelly to tell him about what he had just heard, when moments later, the galloping sound returned, only this time, the men looked out the window and saw a woman in a white dress standing near a horse-drawn carriage in the road. The woman appeared to be waiting for a ride and even yelled at the driver before vanishing into the darkness along with the horse and carriage. Neither the mysterious woman or the horse carriage were seen again that night, but the two men were so frightened by what they witnessed that they never went to sleep. Early the next morning, the two men reported the event to Marshal Edward Cohen, a police officer, who was quoted as saying, I know nothing as to the truth of the story, but this much I will say. Both Kelly and Looney are fine young men, and I have no reason to disbelieve any statement they have made. They evidently saw something which has impressed them greatly. The 1897 ghost sighting of the woman in carriage was claimed to be connected with a tragic death that allegedly occurred on the cemetery's hill in the 1880s. The old story says a priest's assistant at St. James fell in love with a young woman from the church and they devised a plan to run away together. The man picked up the woman in a carriage late at night, but after she climbed aboard, the horse suddenly bolted down the hill and they suffered fatal injuries after being violently thrown to the ground. After the fatal accident, the couple was allegedly buried in St. James Cemetery in unmarked graves. 
Unfortunately, their names are never mentioned in the story, and it's unclear if the fatal accident really happened or if it's nothing more than an old legend that's been told for generations. Seventy years after the two men reported the ghostly sighting of the woman and horse carriage, another bizarre sighting took place, only this time it was far more sinister. In 1977, a Cook County police officer was on patrol at around 3 a.m. when he witnessed nine hooded figures who looked like monks walking up the hill in the cemetery towards the church. Knowing the cemetery was closed and off-limits, the officer pursued the mysterious monks on foot and ordered them to stop, but they did not respond or make a sound. The robed figures continued up the dark hill in unison until they vanished into the darkness of the cemetery. Police searched the cemetery grounds with a canine shortly after, but the dog never picked up a scent and no one was ever found during the search. After the bizarre sighting, along with reports of similar sightings in the cemetery and surrounding forest, the church was nicknamed Monk's Castle. One of the mysterious figures was even nicknamed the Mad Monk due to stories of the figure chasing people through the cemetery at night. There are many scary stories about monks at St. James, but the Mad Monk was said to be a former reverend who was known to chase trespassers out of the cemetery at night using a flashlight and a bullhorn. Although many former pastors and church officials don't believe the scary story surrounding St. James Cemetery at Sag Bridge, one former priest did. Father Raymond Plazinski, who passed away in 1970, said he looked out the windows of the rectory one night and saw monk-like figures or people dressed in robes on the cemetery grounds. It is unknown if the robed figures were actual ghosts or real people looking to desecrate the cemetery and perform a ritual. Another piece of the cemetery's history that might have a connection with the ghostly activity is the high number of unmarked graves in the northwest corner. This area with open space and missing headstones is the final resting place of at least 500 people who were buried free of charge. When the property was donated to the Catholic Church by the Murphy family in the 1830s, they inserted a clause in the deed that allowed poor people to bury their loved ones at zero cost provided they dig the graves themselves. The only cost associated with the burial was the coffin and a train ticket. Although the stipulation was helpful for those who couldn't afford to pay a gravedigger, the do-it-yourself burial policy led to many problems including shallow graves without markers and families stacking coffins in old plots. And in many cases, alcohol-induced fights broke out in the cemetery while digging graves. One newspaper article from 1897 documents a drunken fight witnessed by Tim Carroll, a gravedigger at St. James Cemetery at the time. After heavy drinking and fighting while digging a grave for their loved one, the family stormed out of the cemetery in a rage, leaving the coffin and shovel behind. The family never returned to finish the job, and the gravedigger ended up digging the grave all by himself. If the ghost sightings and creepy monks in the cemetery are real, the events could have been caused by a number of things, including disturbed burials of natives and the hundreds of forgotten graves without markers. The identity of many of the people laid to rest here is unknown due to the missing markers and burial records. In the past, the cemetery was also the target of vandalism and even grave robberies due to its secluded location in a forest. But even if the ghost stories surrounding St. James at Sag Bridge are nothing more than urban legends, the old church and cemetery are a sight to see and well worth visiting for the fascinating history alone. Many of the graves remain in great condition and date back to the mid-1800s, with one of the earliest known burials on record taking place in 1812. I'd like to know what you think about this allegedly haunted cemetery and the stories surrounding it. Have you ever visited St. James at Sag Bridge in Lamont, Illinois? Have you ever witnessed a ghost or a monk in the cemetery at night or during the day? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out more of my scary videos and playlists now.